Hi, it's me, Denise Zimba, here at the Cosmetics HQ building. Welcome! It's time to do this look for you. If you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. Alright, let's get started. So, I start first with my Hydro um, Depuffing Eye Serum. It's one of my favorites because it just literally cools off under my eyes. Why I use this? I'm always in the clubs. I have a two-year-old. She doesn't sleep and I'm on set for hours at a time. So this really just helps me just like get my eyes rejuvenated and uh, just get a little bit of a stringy in there. It's so cooling, you guys have no idea. I mean, I think I overuse it actually, to be quite honest. In the mornings and in the evenings, but most importantly, when I apply my makeup, it's like the number one thing, followed by the hydrating plumbing serum now this is i mean i don't know how i have to express it to the universe but it's like god's gift to women really it literally hydrates your skin and just brings that all back to normal with makeup going on and off on my face all the time this is my go-to before i apply any makeup and sometimes i use it like if i'm not applying makeup and i just want a really fresh like fresh fresh skin it's really one of my faves. Usually when I go to the stores, I wake up in the morning and or I drop off my daughter at school. I kind of look like this. But when I put this on, I mean, the school moms are jealous. And I understand why. Sometimes I kind of keep and like put it all over my neck, just kind of, just brings it all out. So this is really one of my favorites. I, I mean, these two are must have. Every day, with or without makeup, after you've also like had your makeup, you've taken it off, wash your face, boom pow. Now, these are my two that I really like to mix together. So I use the Glow Beautify Face Oil and the Love Skin and Respect Earth. I use them together, it just like works and meshes well together. It just gives a little bit more of a balance and a smooth texture and just like support uh, on the skin. And as you can see, even if you blend them together, it just like works well. So you can imagine how it just sits on your face and it feels so good. I mean, you probably think I have makeup on right now. We're just getting started, so relax. Usually with the serums and the oils, I like to apply with my hands, um, but you know, some people prefer to use brushes, which is also cool, but I just like to feel that I'm putting as much as I need on my face and, and feel that it's sitting. All right, so my skin is prepped, so I'm gonna go on to my brows. I usually start with my brows and my eyes. Like once I get this shape right, one, it takes long. I usually have to fill my brows and you can see they're quite thin. So I always just try to make sure that I finish this off first and then put on the foundation. Some people do it the other way around. I just prefer to do it first brows, then eyes. It just takes a little bit longer and I want it to be perfect. I usually use this amazing brush just to make sure I find the shape. As you can see, I have like the most thinnest brows in the land. But nothing this can't do, and nothing this can't fix. Okay, then I use my Catrice Brow Filler Pencil. I usually use a pencil instead of the powder because I've really got shaky hands, and the pencil just allows me to get a grip and fill in where I need to fill in. So, anyone is works, whatever works for you. What I like to do is like just fill it in and use the rim up the bottom of my brow just to give it the shape. Because I've got small eyes and small eyebrows, I have enough of an arch that doesn't need me to really tweeze. I just, as again, start at the rim under my eyebrows to give it the arch shape and then fill it in slightly. You don't want to press too hard with the, with the pencil because it might just be a little bit too dark. Just flip the pencil around and then brush it in there, just so it blends a little bit. I slowly start with just a basic fill, and then as soon as I use the concealer to shape my brows, then I can add more of the fill. So, let me get my concealer, just to shape the brows. This is the True Skin High Cover Concealer. It works for everything, also just to like, you know, blend underneath the eyes, but we'll get to that in a moment. But for now, 
I just dab a little bit like that and I use it just to frame just to give it a little bit more shape but just to make sure that the framework is there. All right, there you have it. I just kind of slightly shaped them right now. One of my favorite things, because I just have really thin eyebrows and I always emphasize that, but I do. One of my favorite things just to give texture and volume to my eyebrows after I've applied the with the brow pencil, I use the Catrice Brown Colorist. What's nice about it is that it's not a very harsh kind of brown. And it's just what you need to just give your eyebrows a lift and a little bit of volume and just like that you get a slight lift what's nice about the mascara it also keeps your brows in shape you know you might get a hug and a kiss from your baby or a friend or a ketchup hug and you know those ketchup hugs are like smudgy why i don't know if you're ask me but they're smudgy um and so this really works well I know it might not look glam as yet, but wait till I'm done, ladies and gents. You will be amazed. All right, there we have it. For now, the brows are a vibe. If they skew, listen, I'm giving you life. It's a lot of work. So I like to use the all-round concealer to color correct my... Just, I've got a little bit of a... Uh, a discoloration which is natural everybody has that and I feel like when I use this it kind of almost just balances out once you put the foundation and the concealer it just blends right in you see it as I put it on but I use like a uh, like the peachy kind of orangey color just not too much but just enough to get that color correction perfectly aligned I know you guys notice that I dab with the brush and with my finger, but I do so because your finger also just has a warm kind of feel. And sometimes it just helps to just blend it and easily smooths out and quicker. Okay, so I'm gonna use the eyeshadow primer or base. Same as a group, it's the same thing. Why I like to use this is because sometimes when you put on your eyeshadow, it kind of just fluffs off and like through the course of the day, it just fades out and you wanna always touch it up and then it just kind of becomes like plumpy. So I love to use this because it allows the eyeshadow to set and it also pops whatever color you're trying to put in. Even if it's a nude kind of matte, it just lets it sit and it just gives like just a nice flow in your eyes. I also use a concealer. If you don't have the primer slash base, you can use a concealer. But for now, I'm going to use both because I'm Denise Zimba and I can. So wherever you apply your eyeshadow, that's where you put it and then just slightly higher than the crease because when you blend with your blending brush normally your eyeshadow will kind of go over but what I love about this it doesn't allow the eyeshadow to dip into the crease and then you just kind of make sure you let it sit with any flat brush that you have all right kiddos I'm done with the concealer and the primer base for my eyeshadow, but to let it sit and mattify it, I use the Nude Illusion Loose Powder, transparent loose powder. Let's it sit, ready to apply the eyeshadow. Any brush that is soft and not too heavy and can you, you can easily apply, then you're definitely ready to put your eyeshadow. So what I like to do, with my glam look, especially if I use red lipstick. I like my eyes to be a little bit more natural and open because, you know, you add the va va you know, eyelashes for someone who's got small eyes like I do. I don't want to put too much heavy eyeshadow. I want my eyes to open up. I want it to complement the red lipstick. I want the glow. I want the glam, but just like sexy in the eyes. And I really love sometimes just using different nudes to just give that openness and that's very complimentary for my red lipstick. So, ah, glorious day. The Neon Earth Pro Slim Eyeshadow Palette for us brown skin girls. Your skin just like her. Okay, I can't sing further than that because then it's copywriting issue. Okay. I love this 
like this is just like my go-to every day even if it's quick fresh makeup during the day going for lunch with some friends it's got every color that you need from a pop of glam red carpet to straight to like a club scene to mother lunch play date you want to look like a bar this is a bar okay so i'm gonna use um the color heat wave eclipse and earth and maybe just a little bit of the gold so i'm gonna start use a blending brush please this is like go to i mean if you ain't got a blending brush you ain't blending a damn thing okay so let's start with the heat wave i use this usually for the crease of the eye because it's usually a great blending color for all the colors that are gonna be topping up over here and if you're judging my stroke i'm not a makeup artist i'm an actress i rock oh gosh i hope you don't see things in my nose you're gonna have to cut that one out <laughs> but let's go this side i'm sorry if there's anything in my nose it's just hay fever seasons are changing then what i want to add is the eclipse this is going to go right in the corner of the eye and you just from the crease just blend it in there in the corner and let it just fade through blending brush just always make sure that all the colors kind of flow together almost like going one into the other <sighs> blending brushes are like the best thing since sliced bread yeah since sliced bread yeah since sliced bread best no, since a dishwasher. Boom! Telling you. And there we go, corner blending brush. Look how ready. The eyeshadow sits so well. It's just mattified so well. I love, love, love the eyeshadow primer and base. It's just, it's like the best thing. Really, since a dishwasher. Yeah, I'm still here. We're back and I'm still blending. But I'm nearly done. I'm using my earth just to make sure everything kind of flows in together seamlessly. And look how beautiful the eyeshadow is just sitting on my eyelids. Really, I really, really, really love this eye shadow primer base, bit of concealer, and then it's just like, okay. And that's about it. Just a little bit of a natural glow. I mustn't forget, actually, in the corner, in the corner of my eyes, in the corners of my eyes young gold with a bit of solo flare just to give it a glow people are looking at me my neighbors are looking at me funny okay so eyeshadow is set now it's time to kind of give definition to the eye um for those of you who are liquid eyeliner girls well done to you um i'm just not her she's not me she's not her her she's not she we are not she to give that so what I use is a Cocardio pencil, eyeliner pencil, one of my faves, so easy. And even if you smash, that's also fine because we also use like a really nice thin brush just to blend it in and you might kind of get a cool but subtle smoky kind of look. But for now, let's aim to do it perfect. I just kind of squeeze in my eyeliners and then I run the pencil right as close to my eyelids as possible. Co cardio effect. We're not done yet, relax. <laughs> We're not done yet. And now I'm gonna take the angle brush and I'm just gonna blend it out a tad bit. But just so it sits perfect. Angle brushes are always the best because once you go right into the corners of your eye, it just flows with your eyelid. And you don't always have to do a wing. I feel like, you know, you can just kind of have a little slight moment of a wing like mine, just a little, but not a, I mean, but dramatic effect is always great. But preferably for me, I really prefer to just have a subtle, subtle wing, black eyeshadow, just to just line it and make it prim. And, and we're done. Time for the mascara. My fave, go big or go bold. This is really, really, really amazing. If you see, this brush is literally go big or go home. Literally, it's amazing. And I'm just gonna put it on the top of my lashes. Don't worry about my bottom lashes. I will get to it in a few. But just for now, to let it sit, because once I apply my lashes, it won't smudge, it would have set, and it'd be easier for me to apply my lashes. Don't worry about my bottom lashes, we'll get to it. 
but I just want to make sure that I frame it perfectly with my lashes. Lash glue by Catrice. Everlasting. I think I only buy one of these every four to five months and I wear lashes. This is like a must have in your bag. And what I also love is that it's portable. Like, you know, sometimes you just overdo it in the clubs. Da, 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 da. And then this one goes. Di, 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 di. This, go to the bathroom, saves your life. Anywhere you go, this is a must have. I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's just. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for my foundation. Now this is one of my favorite releases of 2021. It's a True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Pairs up so well with the Hydro Plumbing Serum. I kid you not when I say this, I kid you not. And the shades are so complimentary, really. Actually, quite spot on, it's shocking. Smooth sailing. All right, so I get my foundation brush. I'm just gonna squeeze it. And I just like to dab all over because you don't want to spray on one spray on the brush and then apply in one section it might just be too much for that section and then i start first with dabbing all the way around under my eyes just to evenly get the shade blended okay now that the foundation has set i'm going to use my contour palette this is my color of a hair and uh, I'm just gonna brush on the side of my face just to give myself a little bit of a highlight. I usually use the dark contour powder first and then apply the end with the concealer just to align everything. You can also use a liquid contour for both. You can mix and match contour powder and liquid, whatever your preference is. Mine is definitely just the powder because I can control it, especially on the side of my face. And I tend to kind of like just to get, just to get the line in. Okay, just to get the line in. And then I tend to also dab right in the corners of my forehead. And once I'm done with that, I apply my concealer where I want to give myself a little bit of highlight. I tend to not do too much. I kind of tend to not want to overdo it. And I just take my blending sponge and dab it underneath. Right over there, right over there. I tend to do it here, right on my nose. This is one of my favorite um, Catrice blushes. It's called Nude Peach. So this is also a really nice blush when you want to just have a fresh day. Why I also use it for glam is because I have red lipstick and I want to make sure my red lipstick pops and with the contouring you don't want it too much of a heavy blush because then it just like, it's conflict of interest basically, conflict of interest, okay? And then I just dust it off on the side over there just so you can see it and look how it has that beautiful matte effect. Look at that! So we roll back to the fixing Nude Illusion Loose Powder. Make sure that you don't apply too much. And when you do, you just and dab like that. All around your face, not too heavy. Almost like the Fairy Godmother is about to bless you and give you a Range Rover kind of dust. This is that you're a good girl, even a good girl kind of polish. A little, just dab. I always do a lip liner just to make sure you frame your lips correctly because once you apply the lip gloss or lipstick it's just easier because you have a frame on your mouth and the lip liner gives you that. Sorry I can't talk I'm trying to make sure I had a shade line. The ultimate favorite matte red lipstick. I mean this this is this is my lifesaver. It does not smudge. You can eat a burger, you can make out with somebody. This is God's gift to women. So, so smooth. And it smells divine, actually. Oh. Sorry, I'm just getting too nice. 
And there you have it. Guys, this is the ultimate statement. This is the glam moment. This is like when you just stamp of approval, your look is just, you're ready to take over the world. I suggest every woman to have this in their handbag, in their purse. This is what's gonna get that job that you want. This is what's gonna get that baby that you want. This is what's gonna get that man that you want. This is what's, what's gonna get that, this, this is a staple. The glam look can never be finished without a beautiful highlighter. More than a glow highlighter by Catrice. It really is more than a glow. It just elevates the look and it just gives you a polished, finished moment. I tend to not overdo it, which is great because this at least lasts you like a year. Like seriously, you don't even need to apply too much, but it perfectly sits. That's just a dab, that's all you need. And then I sprinkle a little bit on my nose. And just to have a finish, to pop your eyes just a bit more, I put it in the corners. Just like that. I mean, this is it. And you just need a broad eye just to give you that finishing touch. Going back to my Neon Earth, Pro Slim Eyeshadow Palette, it's just my favorite. And I'm going back to the earth color and I'm gonna use just a slight brush underneath the eyes. I do this just before I apply my mascara for my bottom lashes because it just elevates it and it pops a little bit. And then as soon as that's done, we apply the mascara one last time to set it all. My favorite, Shake Fix Glow Spray. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? that you like comment and subscribe all the products will be in the description box below so follow the link and get your products